Did you ever have that thing where you're watching the news and you think such and such would never happen, but then it does happen, so obviously it could happen, and then you realize this isn't an episode of House of Cards. Now, I can't help you with the real world, but as far as season five, here's me, Michael Kelly, in a bubble bath to discuss. Basically, those oh-so-sneaky Underwoods engineered low voter turnout in two key Republican swing states by fabricating terror plots of voting centers. Cries of voter suppression led to these states refusing to certify their results, which meant no President Frank or President Conway. Mm. So far, so corrupt. But this was a game changer, even for Francis J. Underwood. I mean, he managed to destroy the vote of every American citizen in one move. So now, according to the 12th Amendment, Frank and Claire's fate was in the hands of the House and the Senate, respectively. The Senate picked Claire as a vice president. Great choice. But the ongoing constitutional clusterfuck meant that there was still no decision on who'd be the top dog. Mm. Mm. And when there's no elected president, the veep steps in. More. <sighs> All hail acting president Claire Underwood. To help her dear husband's bid, Claire proposed a new election in the two states that didn't certify their results. Congress then collectively shit the bed that they'd lose their seats if they went down any other road and quickly considered this micro-election a swell idea. And so, the semi-legitimate race was on. But let's face it, I mean, Frank was never going to let little things like constitutional precedent or fair play get in the way of his success. So how do you think it turned out? Conway was quickly out on his ass, and the Underwoods, well, they were back where they belong. You got it? Good. Now fuck off. <laughs>